Okay, we're back. Let's go ahead and get this bearing and come back together. Okay. I'm not gonna freeze my bearing this time. I'm just gonna put it in. So, what we got to do today is do the opposite of what we just did. Um, but this time, we can still use, we can still use this on, well, no, we can't, no thinking. Um, Must get a bigger there we go. Here's the bigger, here's the bigger one. That's gonna do the pulling. Beautiful. And we need the smaller one that's gonna mate with the inside of the bearing. Smaller, smaller. You want the same. You want the same size as the race, not the bearing itself. I would say you are. You are pretty close. Yeah, I like it. Between two of them, I'll take that back in. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this up yet. I ain't clean this up yet. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm gonna get my impact out of the car because I take it with me where I go. So if I get a flat tire, I can take those lugs out and start off of it.
Let's wear this. Shove right on in there. Isn't it? No. Really? And you just throw you just uh just it Oh man. Sure did. Uh, yep. Stripped it out. Oh, don't get see what happened there. And then I gotta get another bolt. Something else a little stronger than that. Wow. Uh, your friends hmm try something maybe it was enough man. oh man My tool failed. Unfortunately, stuff can be cheap. Stand to, stand to. Okay, back. They found me a fairly big bolt. Not perfect. Um, it coming up on that. Yeah, I hit it. I hit it real quick. She's roll, sliding right on in there. Problem is that not having enough thread length here. I gotta be careful because I don't have that much thread that I think of. When the uh, hub be a different, different scenario. Why am I not wearing my. right now I don't know how much thread I got left Let me back it up Oh, you know what? 
I actually got, I think I actually got enough thread. I didn't think I had enough thread. Well, wait a minute, this ball here is, that's not turning. That doesn't turn anyway. Taking it in far enough that you get plenty of clearance for the clip. Keep going. Alright, well, we got two carry away. I've still got thread. I just need another, it's another hair, hair there, it looks like I got, still got plenty of, plenty of th thread for this bolt, I'm impressed, <laughs> but y'all know next time around that I can use, I'll keep this, keep this one in the, in the kit because this is actually a shot. I gotta, I gotta replace, see if I can replace that. If not, um, I got the ideal bolt, but I don't have the right length. So, and be at a grade eight. Grade eight bolt, you can't beat, you can't beat that. Um, also, it's the perfect, perfect size. It doesn't, there's not that much room to play around with. So I just gotta go to, I don't know who would have that. Lowe's might have it, but it needs to be like a six inch bolt. It probably cost me 20, 25 bucks for a freaking bolt. But. You can't, you're not going to be able to, you know, you won't have this issue again. It will not strip out. Uh, it'll break, it'll break whatever you're doing before that happens. Okay, we're going in. It's nice. Here. Here we go. You don't see it move. Not want to put it in. You don't want to over slam it. You want to seat it um, because your when you do your drive shaft, that's gonna freaking bring everything into play. Okay. Give me my brand new clip. I'm not using the old clip. It came with one. So we'll put a new clip in there. And we'll go ahead and put the drive shaft back in there. I'll do my ball, put my ball joint back in.
There she is. Beautiful. You really don't you really don't even need the clip, do they? It ain't coming out of there. So you know it's just they the you know engineers designed to put a clip in there. It ain't coming out, you know. But you better take it out when you gotta pull it. I did that. I did that. I had it on the main press. I forgot to take that sucker out. Man, I busted the busted the wing off the knuckle. Not a good scene. Uh, why that happens? Oh, you know, like, oh, yeah, okay. I see. Okay, so here we go. There's, there's the old one. So we now have a, a new wheel bearing in there. Where are your gloves? It's what you got them for. Damn. I walk back in there. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, you did not. Yes, I did. You got ahead of yourself. Doggone it. <laughs> Got my hopes up, didn't I? All right, get your butt back out of there. Who can go there? Not yet. You got the wheel bearing out of the on on the rear, but I couldn't get I couldn't do the uh, hub with the drive shaft in there. And now we got we got a whole another scenario here. Okay, now we have pretty much the same scenario. This time we're gonna find a cup. You know, a big enough cup and go on top of that. to use the one you were just using. Come back there. Right? Right. You're gonna use the original one. Come back and maybe get this one. It's gonna go across. Unfortunately it's too short. Oh man. Yeah. Too short. Absolutely. But well, guess what? I am stuck till tomorrow. It's seven o'clock anyway. Okay. 
So this stuff here is crap now. Um, on a Saturday, I'm not gonna be able to get. Couldn't find anybody. Hmm. Okay, so we're returning. I'm dead in the water till I get a bowl. I got no bolts for that. I need one of these, but I need it like freaking that long. But it needs to be long. It even needs to be longer than that. This is even, I can even go up to the hmm. Go back. How's this? Hey, hold on. Huh. It does. Apparently. It does. No, no, no. Wrong nut. Where is it? Hmm. hmm. Interesting. 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 That's not easy. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see what happens then. Once I get, if I get a little more length. We just moved, I just moved it about. I did move a little bit. How much? How much I actually moved it. Still not, I think there's enough to put that cup on it. Um, Four threads. Thread. 
Make sure this is dead center. It works, it, you know. I want to get, I want to get the right, I want to get the right, a right bowl for it, for this kit. But that dead center. Okay, let's do this. Farting with it and just make it in. It's it's there. That that actually worked. It's, it's there. I don't want to fart around. Just take it in there. Just gotta take it a little more. In fact, there's probably enough there for the freaking drive shaft. Because I don't want to take it all the way in. I told you, you know. Of the drive shaft, take it in and seat it. Oh, I think you're way off. You're way off. What are you thinking? that cup of the way. You can see you can see it you can see how the bearing is a little is a little loose like it is but that worked. That actually worked. Now if I get around to it I'll get the right I'll get the right bolt. This isn't this isn't a grade eight so you're not gonna break it as it is. So Ah, you might. No, you're, you're still in there. Okay. Combination working. No, oh, I'm using a new nut. You need a new nut. <laughs> Alright. And that's that's this one here.
Mm. Brakes are back on. Okay, here we go. Let's get the make sure <laughs> mess with that today. Okay, good. Yeah, I tighten it up and it started to do that. And I, what are you aiming at? You're doing, you're pulling the rear, and you're pulling the back. <clears throat> yep. All right. Awesome. Here we go. Now all I gotta do is put the tire on and then torque that up. I think it, I think this is. 210. I'm gonna have to double check. I don't know why Ford goes 210 and uh, Compass and Jeep go 180. But anyway, that's that. Okay, there we are. I've just torqued it and it is puppy is nice and solid. So hopefully that's what the humming was. If not, I'm gonna have to. I've already checked the driver's side. Driver's side solid too. So. Anyway, there we are. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. We'll catch you on the next Daniel Crosby's Garage, Project Escape. Now I gotta go figure out why I have transmission fluid rolling down the front of my cowling. <laughs>